the Deepwater Horizon accident could have been avoided. On April 20th, 2010, the oil rig went up in flames, taking the lives of 11 workers, injuring 17 others and causing the largest oil spill in US history. 130 million gallons of oil spilled out into the ocean over 87 days. How did this happen? Well, in the years leading up to the incident, BP's top management launched an aggressive cost-cutting campaign to boost profits. A 25% cost cut across the board was ordered by BP's then CEO, John Browning. This meant reduced maintenance, reduced training for staff, and increased pressure to forego safety measures. The Deepwater Horizon incident reflects a culmination of these poor decisions coming into play. The rig was already behind schedule and each day of operation cost BP over a million dollars. As pressure mounted, a number of questionable decisions were made. The following are just a few of those. The cement job used on the well had failed stability tests, which was ignored. Pressure test readings on the rig were also ignored. Valves that were used to seal the well during an emergency had malfunctioned. BP also bypassed a cement bond log test to save more than $100,000. They also saved $1 million by reducing the number of centralizers used to secure and plug the well. And the results? And that's why 